Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The chamber is now back in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. We continue hearing the Nous testimony of Mr. David Chandler de and uh, David if Chandler, uh, any judges expert. of the bench would like to proceed with further questions, then we take the floor to judge the bench. À notre témoin expert, nous allons passer la parole à Monsieur le juge Lavergne. Je vous en prie. Oui, bonjour, professeur uh, Chandler. Hello, uh, Je vous remercie professor également Chandler. de votre présence aujourd'hui uh, parmi nous. J'ai euh, peu de questions, mais quelques questions à vous poser. Tout d'abord, vous nous avez parlé d'une personne dénommée Cox Ross que vous avez interviewée. Vous avez dit que cette personne n'avait jamais été interviewée précédemment. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez dans quelles conditions vous êtes rentré en contact avec cette personne, Cox Ross Est-ce que c'est quelqu'un qui vous l'a présenté Est-ce que c'est lui qui s'est présenté lui-même As I remember, uh, there was réponse. a souvenir, very able person whose name I've forgotten and who has since died, who served as a driver and uh, nom, assistant en fait, to many journalists in Cambodia. And when this man knew that I was looking for uh, people who had been at uh, S21, he provided uh, um, a range for my two interview. Him, Hui, for example, um, he found that through contacts of his, um, he had located uh, contacts, this other person à and had uh, ascertained that he would be uh, willing to uh, um, come and talk to me. Fait and that's how that was arranged. Thank you. Par ailleurs, Judge concernant donc, les Otherwise, archives, can, on sait qu'elles sont particulièrement volumineuses. On sait aussi que une partie, cependant, ne nous est pas parvenue. Est-ce que le fait qu'il well, manque une partie de ces archives est susceptible d'affecter l'évaluation des documents qui nous est parvenu Ou est-ce que cela n'a d'incidence, par exemple, que sur la détermination du nombre de prisonniers détenus à S21 I don't think it will affect, je ne pense pas que cela uh, va affecter, affect my own en tout cas certainement pas, uh, ne va pas cela ne va pas affecter mes conclusions générales. Characteristics of the missing documents, by definition, it's impossible to say what effect nous ne connaissons pas par définition les caractéristiques des documents qui uh, have on our deliberations. Et il est difficile uh, d'évaluer uh, les confessions uh, seem to be uh, certains des quite short, whereas in fact the prisoners are quite important, so I figure those Confessions have been removed by someone for some reason uh, quite a while ago. Uh, there are the document that was put before us uh, earlier, the uh, one from March 76. I mentioned that was one of five copies. Uh, an original which obviously went to brother number one and four uh, carbons uh, that were all, all the records that was made of that meeting. Uh, now, we have, qui avait été fait de I cette think, réunion. six or maybe seven Donc, nous avons of those documents, or sept de all from a brief period of 1976. But de, we know by inference that such documents must have continued to be produced des documents de la sorte ont dû through the rest of 76. 77 and 78, were we 78, in possession of those top si secret decision announcing documents uh, on the part of the party leader, top secret, I think uh, de la part it's quite des, possible that uh, some of our uh, 
plausible information about que uh, DK would change. Du I don't think we'd find it was uh, a more uh, genteel or uh, responsive, uh, responsive uh, government, des, uh, but that's uh, certainly an archive we know uh, must have existed uh, and tout has a now uh, disappeared. Mais effectivement, certains des documents ne nous sont pas parvenus, effectivement. À plusieurs reprises dans votre ouvrage, vous décrivez l'univers de S21 comme un univers marqué par la déshumanisation. Est-ce que vous pourriez quelques phrases nous dire words, ce qui caractérisait fondamentalement cette déshumanisation de l'univers de S21. Of, uh, well, uh, Réponse. Uh, Bien, il s'agit là d'une question excellente et tout à fait philosophique, mais je vais faire de, de uh, mon mieux pour y répondre. The... Dehumanization, of course, la déshumanisation, uh, well, it affected, bien évidemment, to some extent, elle affectait dans une certaine mesure the la vie des the personnes qui travaillaient uh, were not able to à S21, take time off dans une certaine mesure, into the city ces personnes n'avaient uh, pas la possibilité de se déplacer, d'aller en like. ville, d'avoir uh, une liberté de mouvement, et certaines personnes, uh, restrictions. Personnes, the real uh, plein Uh, affected dans leurs uh, the prisoners Cependant, la déshumanisation, elle, from the moment, les prisonniers. well, probably from the moment they were arrested, but à du moment où ils certainly arrêtés, from the moment they arrived moment at the prison, ils arrivaient à la prison, only the, et, those uh, of la suite, very high seul, rank in the party personnes de très haut rang, were treated with anything like traités, ordinary de respect, manière, uh, they were uh, respectueuse, tout au moins, mistreated physically and mentally, psychologically, mentalement, from the moment they arrived, à partir du moment and I think they were considered et elles from the moment they arrived to have departed de from ne plus the de human world of people who had du monde humain, not committed des crimes. Qui pas commis, entre guillemets, de crime. L'accusé ici présent au cours des débats a eu l'occasion de nous indiquer à plusieurs reprises qu'il n'avait pas euh, confiance dans l'authenticité des aveux recueillis à S21, qu'il ne les considérait pas comme reflétant la vérité. Alors, est-ce que vous êtes en mesure de nous dire si, tant de la part de l'accusé, mais aussi peut-être des dirigeants du Kampuchea démocratique, il y avait, je ne sais pas comment on pourrait le qualifier, ou un aveuglement, ou une forme de cynisme, If people had become cynical, une forme, or je ne sais pas, de paranoïa, est-ce qu'il y avait des choses de cet ordre-là uh, dans le fonctionnement de S21 et de la part de ses dirigeants Réponse. Réponse. Là encore. Une question to, uh, qui couvre uh, un domaine très vaste. Je vais faire de mon mieux the, pour essayer d'y répondre. I haven't found in the archive, Je n'ai pas trouvé dans les archives, documents il y a certains documents no qui ne sont pas parvenus. Je n'ai pas trouvé uh, dans les archives des gardes, or, uh, des dirigeants de la prison who went on record as saying qui ont that dit they, Confessions were not accurate. Aveux, uh, I think uh, the defendant is accurate in saying at this point that at the time, probably, and certainly with hindsight, or at the time he knew and with hindsight he, he declares moment, uh, that he knew this to be the case, but I had statements like that uh, gone up to the uh, leadership 
uh, arrivant, I think his uh, position uh, and his life KD. might well have been in danger. So therefore, eh bien, si, uh, the il avait dit aux dirigeants du KD à ce moment-là, eh the whole machinery of producing confessions position was allowed to just run on uh, steadily uh, in some senses regardless qui, of the je dirais, a accuracy or sorte, usefulness of a good deal of the information, la précision, which is la vérité des informations qui a été donnée. Et cela transparaît de manière tout à fait uh, évidente à quelqu'un qui, même quelques mois, à la lecture uh, des uh, aveux, je vais donner un exemple, uh, en 78, uh, plusieurs prisoners, prisonniers uh, Said ont déclaré that they had, uh, dug dans leur tunnels hôtel, in Cambodia, in Phnom Penh, and inside Cambodge, these tunnels, Pompane, à l'intérieur de ces tunnels, had hidden, uh, elles Vietnamese avaient caché soldiers. des soldats vietnamiens. Now it seems to me Alors là, ça me semble that had there been any truth to such allegations, s'il y avait eu une vérité quelconque dans cette uh, dans telle allégation, eh bien, with, des personnes uh, auraient uh, été, uh, on aurait envoyé des personnes à l'extérieur de la prison pour retrouver les tunnels en question. Mais ça, ça ne pouvait pas être vrai, c'est pas possible. Mais Largely, les aveux, ces techniques d'aveux avec ces allégations, eh bien, servaient dans une grande mesure de répondre aux besoins des dirigeants du régime du cadet euh, pour, je, en, leur, en affirmant que de telles choses se passaient alors qu'elles n'étaient absolument pas fondées. Je vous remercie beaucoup, Monsieur le Professeur. Thank you very much. Je n'ai pas de questions Chandler, à poser no à Monsieur le Professeur. Le Président. The chamber would like now to give the floor to Nous souhaiterions the à présent donner la parole aux coprocureurs to put questions pour leur permettre to de poser leurs questions to do so. à notre témoin expert, s'il souhaite um, poser ses questions. Le coprocureur cambodgien. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Mr. David Chandler. Bonjour, Monsieur David Chandler. After you conducted a research on the history Après avoir of mené Cambodia, vos travaux de recherche sur l'histoire du Cambodge, as, as well as the history of the democratic Cambodge Cambodge, du régime du Cambodge démocratique, book, en particulier décrit dans votre livre on vous, the vous S21 sur l'institution qui était S21. I have the following questions for you. J'ai la question First, suivante à vous poser. Can you explain to the chamber? Expliquer à la chambre. The democratic Cambodian regime. For instance, what Quelle was était la nature du objective, régime du Cambodge démocratique Par exemple, quel était l'objectif principal the regime du régime the dans le cadre de la création de S21 Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Réponse. Well, je vous remercie. We don't actually have that nous any ne document disposons that, pas uh, sets en fait de documents qui établissent les motifs de la création uh, de S21. Uh, I found a document in uh, DC CAM uh, saying that a crew of workers selon lequel should go to the uh, grounds of Benigat High School and uh, mow grass and put in tables and chairs to clean the place up. That's how I knew it was getting started. But pour nettoyer et there's no document from the top, Mais as I said before, aucun document qui nous vient missing, de la direction du parti qui établit the la raison pour laquelle les dirigeants devaient non seulement poursuivre uh, l'existence de S21 since, uh, April 75, et presque depuis uh, avril 2015 uh, finalement, mais qu'elle devrait passer et que ça devrait être une secret institution qui devrait être avant ce mouvement. Si elle n'avait pas été totalement secret, certains gens pourraient même avoir été libérés de son ancienne incarnation. Mais Clearly, one can Mais de toute évidence, infer on peut en déduire that the reason why on peut à la conclusion the regime, que la raison uh, pour laquelle le régime a établi S21, S21 was that, particularly as 
Judge Cartwright suggested in about mid-1976, after April and intensifying into September, the leadership was convinced that nests of traitors existed inside the Communist Party, that the number of guilty people would outrun the uh, capacities of the previous location and that a uh, full-scale interrogation facility needed to be established uh, to uh, work on uh, these uh, suspicions uh, in order to produce uh, clear information to the leadership et les fournir as to what aux, conspiracies were à la direction du parti, place, à savoir que des activités euh, de trahison euh, existaient ou étaient en préparation. Thank you, question, professor. je vous remercie. My next question for you is... Monsieur Chandler, je passe à ma question suivante. After you completed your research on the numerous documents as referenced in your books, for instance, firstly, you only examined a number of limited documents, and then later on, you only examined a number of limited documents. And then later on, you only examined a number of limited documents. After the Cornell University had produced the microfilms of those archives documents, then you delved deeper into the examination of documents of the S21 institutions. Dans la conduite de vos recherches, dans le cadre de vos recherches, de vos travaux de recherche que vous avez mené, vous avez faced a lot of questions regarding the establishment of S21 institutions. L'institution de S21. My question is. Ma question est la suivante. Is the S21 institution? Est-ce que l'institution de S21? But. Does it bear the characteristic of a communism, or whether it's a local, localized Cambodian style, or whether was it adopted from overseas, or whether it's a style particularly from those communist countries? Thank you. A prison of this dimensions. Had no precedent in Cambodian history that I'm aware of. Eh bien, était sans précédent dans l'histoire du Cambodge. Et dans l'histoire, une incertitude interrogatoire comme celui-ci, capable de produire une telle masse de documents, une telle masse de documents, un volume de documents, et sans précédent dans l'histoire du Cambodge. Looking for precise. Foreign models, I think, is to be interesting, but not very productive because we don't know for instance how much uranium is in the Cambodian 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 and where the people uh, held there were not all uh, killed. You have the show trials in the Soviet Union where forced and often entirely false confessions were en Union soviétique où les personnes étaient torturées avant d'être amenées à leur exécution. And you have the notion of re-education, which is shared by many communist regimes, that people who have committed de rééducation sont des, des, des éléments partagés de partage de nombreux pays communistes. Donc on peut avoir certains éléments qui peuvent être un peu remodelés. Un process qui somewhat ressemblent à un concept de pardon et de réhabilitation. Mais cependant, à S21, pourquoi c'était unique La raison pour laquelle c'était quelque chose d'unique, 
Uh, and without uh, Cambodian roots with some communist similarities, why it's not like anything in Cambodia's past or really like the communist parallels are two, two aspects. One is that it's completely secret. The other is that the uh, prisoners uh, were kept uh, secret. Uh, secret. Uh, 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 secret. Uh, uh, secret. Uh, if we can say that by their confessions, they were in a process of re-educating themselves, rebuilding themselves. Une procédure de rééducation, de reconstruction des individus pour en faire de meilleurs citoyens, uh, done, et que si uh, les personnes admettaient ce qu'elles avaient fait et qu'elles se rééduquaient, uh, in order to be killed. De manière à pouvoir être tuées. And that to me doesn't make any sense except là, to one of uh, Judge Cartwright's questions uh, that it was of key importance to the regime. De, uh, not to admit that this facility even existed. So therefore, there was no way of releasing hein, or forgiving or ne libérer, ne pardonner, saying hein, that prisoners had re-educated themselves or had been falsely accused. Uh, so the whole thing, uh, in a sense, uh, breaks down. Donc là, uh, and it's impossible for me anyway to say that they're following a precise model. I don't think this is one thing they did very often. They didn't follow a precise model. And we can arrive to the conclusion that we didn't follow a model here. Thank you. Question. Professor. Thank you, Mr. Chandler. My next question for you. Let me go back a little bit. Question suivante. Permettez-moi de revenir un petit peu en arrière. In your book, dans votre livre, entitled "Voices from S21," intitulé "Voices from S21," on page with the year 00191918, from the Khmer, in the Khmer, it's about the Khmer Rouge. On page 25, line 15, line 15. In your book, published in 2001. You mentioned that the Santé Bal office in Takmao was named 21B, and the and the location was in the compound of the psychiatric hospital. My question to you is, based on your research, la question que je souhaite vous poser est que sur la base de vos recherches, je voulais savoir si does that office bear another name or known by another name? Ou est-ce qu'il est connu sous un autre nom? I don't. I don't have access to any other material than what's in the book that it was known as Salma Pepe Moïka K H as that. And the note for that is on. It will give you the source. I don't have any information to answer that question. Prosecutor, thank you, Professor, because my time is limited. Merci, je n'ai que peu de temps pour vous poser des questions. Actually, the prosecution have certain documents and. We would like to show you those documents regarding this point, but because of the limited time, and if we have time, we could put more questions to you regarding your reference documents. And I would like now to give the floor to my colleague to put some questions to you. Thank you. Maintenant, donner la parole à mon collègue qui va poursuivre. Good morning, Professor. I would just like to ask you a few questions about Doik's personality, the accused personality, from the from the records that you reviewed from the interviews that you had, can you say how hardworking, how ambitious, how active, how disciplined he was? Just as a, as a general comment, and then I'll follow up with a, a few questions. But maybe before, before you answer, if I just refer to a page in your book, 
At page 22, you state, on review of the archive material, you observe that Deutsch's handwriting appeared on hundreds of confessions as annotations. Deutsch's neatly written queries and annotations, often in red ink, appear on hundreds of confessions. They frequently correct and denigrate what prisoners confessed. They suggest beatings and torture. They urge interrogators to unearth the buried truth that the prisoners are hiding. Doik also summarized dozens of confessions, pointing out the links he perceived with earlier ones and suggesting fresh lines of inquiry. Professor, is that correct that you observed and take, took note of Alors, hundreds of annotations uh, by Doik, and that formed your conclusion Doik, as to how he participated in this uh, interrogation process. Uh, que vous nous dire de la participation de Doik processus interrogatoire? Yes, it did. I mean, I had no access to uh, defend it myself, uh, but I've never had access to him. Uh, so the only evidence I could use were two, two kinds, one uh, from people who had worked at the prison uh, uh, or survivors, and secondly, uh, from his written uh, comments. And the survivors uh, entirely date from 1978, when the, in many cases, the operations of the prison were winding down late 1978, and when several prisoners were, I guess you could say, plucked out uh, by Doig to perform other tasks and thus forming these small core of survivors. Uh, the written annotations in uh, red ink, and, and, and I'm very uh, jealous of the neatness of his uh, calligraphy. It's a wonderfully readable and uh, clearly expressed, I think, uh, reveal what can only be described as his professional enthusiasm for the job which he had uh, taken on uh, with some evidence it's not a job that he had sought out but a job that he had been assigned to by his superiors uh, and he wanted this as I said in an earlier uh, answer, I think, he wanted S21 to be seen by his superiors and perhaps uh, not knowing, of course, the regime was going to collapse as swiftly as he did, to be seen also by the international community as a, eventually, as a highly professional uh, and efficient uh, organization uh, of which he, as its uh, administrator, could be uh, justly proud. Thank you. Those annotations uh, that you noted, did they appear consistent over time from the beginning of S21, say in 1975, till the end of S21, early in 1979? Are you able to observe the consistency of those annotations? I probably could have taken a few days to answer that question if I'd been given it in advance, because I would go back to look at the confessions that have his annotations on them. My feeling is that they diminished in late 1978, when by his own testimony he was becoming uh, disillusioned with uh, his work, uh, disillusioned with what was happening at the prison and that his, his loss of enthusiasm be reflected in a decline in the enthusiasm of his annotations, but I'm not able to say that definitively because I have not had a chance to go back and look at the 1978 confessions that I've got photocopied in Melbourne to see if that's true, but I would just guess that's true. I know the 76 and 77 annotations retain a steady level of professionalism and enthusiasm.
Thank you. And the, the period that you predict or suggest may have he may have declined in terms of his enthusiasm is in late 1978. Is that correct? Yes, it's after the uh, purchase of the Eastern oui, Zone were winding down, and when, est, of course, his own uh, former, uh, one of his patrons, uh, Vaughan Vett, uh, came under uh, scrutiny. Now, I don't, I've not seen it. I can't say this for sure, but my guess is that uh, the defendant was pretty sure when Vaughan Vett showed up that those charges against his former patron were probably not accurate, that Von Vett had not been a, a traitor, but like, I'm only speculating there. The, the point is, it's in the very end of the administration of S21, uh, the period of which we have quite ample uh, evidence from uh, survivors, uh, was a period when he was starting to, seems to me, pull back to an extent from uh, the uh, enthusiasm with which he administered the prison before. Thank you. And a, and a particular aspect you noted of confessions uh, I read from your book was the, the consistency of strings of traitors being attached to the confessions and uh, obviously then forwarded um, up the chain of command. If I can quote at page 81, the strings of traitors appended to nearly all of the confessions occasionally run to several hundred names, creating the impression of a vast nationwide conspiracy. This is exactly what Doik and his superiors had in mind. And then you quote uh, Steve Hedder, who states, the worldview of the confession includes the individual who is confessing, the people above him who persuaded him to betray the revolution, the people below him whom he persuaded to betray it, everything is seen in terms of networks and forces. Very few prisoners admitted to making decisions on their own. Do you agree with that, that comment? that the confessions were very much viewed to be uh, a vehicle to connect and bring together other enemies or perceived enemies, and that being the main goal of the, of the confession. Well, it certainly was a major aspect. Uh, I mean, it, it sort of goes without saying that you can't conspire by yourself. Uh, you have to have co-conspirators, and so if you're if you're a, a traitor, you must be working with other people. Uh, and given the hierarchical way that uh, supposedly egalitarian DK was operating, these networks would have included, as uh, Heder uh, said, uh, people above the speaker and people below the speaker all linked together in a uh, string or a kasai that uh, was uh, perceptible uh, to the administration of S21 after they had read uh, the strings uh, put down uh, by the prisoner. But, of course, the problem here is that it seems to me quite likely that many of the prisoners simply wrote down a list of everybody they knew, regardless of whether these people in the list were traitors or had known anything about a conspiracy, or uh, they were producing a list of those people they knew they were told to do this. Now, I'm not sure how thoroughly uh, these lists were then uh, uh, capitalized on, and people would go out back into the into the country to uh, countryside to find these people. Uh, but certainly, what was demanded of the prisoners was that they produce such lists, uh, whether they were accurate or not. And again, back to some of the things I'd said earlier, uh, the point of these lists and producing these lists and to forward some of them uh, up the line from S21 was to confirm the suspicions, accurate or not, uh, suspicions of the party leadership that the country was severely beset 
by internal and external enemies. Thank you. And uh, just briefly, uh, did you do any cross-analysis whether or not people that were mentioned in the confessions as uh, enemies were in fact brought into S21 subsequently or arrested in other places? And if you did, um, what percentage was that in large numbers or small numbers? It's a very, very good question. Oh, sorry, actually, be... yes, well, that's all. Um, I didn't do that kind of analysis. I'm afraid it would have been very interesting. I think some other people have done some of this uh, analysis. Uh, certainly, uh, they were also told on occasion to list people who'd already been arrested, because that would make things easier for the bureaucracy. That they're the people who had told them to, were people who had already been uh, smashed, if you like. Uh, they were not given a total free reign. In other words, a couple of times, uh, prisoners, one prisoner listed uh, because she had taught him in school, uh, Pol Pot's wife, Ying Ponnery, as a member of the CIA, because he felt he had to be, everybody he knew had to be in the CIA. And Dirk saw this confession and put down on the margin, whose wife? In other words, remove this crazy accusation. So, but it's a, it's a very good question. I'm, I'm sorry, in a way, I didn't pursue that, but it would have uh, it would have taken just much too long. Mr. President, um, we have uh, five minutes left, or seven minutes left with this witness. I was wondering, bearing in mind the, the shortness of the examination by the trial chamber, whether the prosecution could have uh, an extra 15 minutes, bearing in mind, I think uh, the professor may be available for the whole day. President, the chamber grants you the extra time. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Professor, how much would you say that uh, the accused Doik fueled the, uh, the purges and the activity of arrest, even though you didn't do that cross-analysis, but in the, way, in the way that he worked, in the way that the confessions uh, consistently had long lists of traitors and enemies. How much would you say he was simply responding to a request from the senior leaders or, in fact, fueling the purges and the terror in Cambodia at the time? That's another excellent question, and it's one I can't answer accurately without having done the work myself. Uh, I'm also not certain uh, of how many people were available to uh, fan out from S21 to locate some of these people mentioned in the uh, confessions. I, I don't think, given the number of names in all the confessions that showed up, that they were ever able to find a majority of these people uh, and bring them in. Uh, I think it goes back to one of the other questions. I think in some cases, again, we don't know which ones. Uh, the defendant and his colleagues knew that or guessed uh, that these lists were of uh, no value, really, or not worth pursuing. My guess is that the, and I'm pretty sure this is true, once you got higher up the chain into the confessions of senior party people or more senior party people, particularly Kadri, for instance, working in the Northwest in 77 and in the East in 78, that those chains were carefully examined and these people were sought out and, uh, and brought in. That's why there was such a thorough purge of those two, those two zones. And perhaps uh, this is an obvious question from what you've answered. 
granted already to the trial chamber, but would it be fair to say that S21 was a very active institution in participating in locating of enemies rather than a passive one, just simply receiving prisoners and, and killing them? Oh, indeed. I mean, I think that's a very accurate description oui, of the place. The, 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 what was really going on at S21 was the interrogations. Uh, that was the major business of the place. Uh, now, again, I've, I've tried with questions have dealt with this earlier. I mean, why do you have this mass of documents when everybody's going to get killed anyway and so on? But interrogations were what was going on there, and it was what the defendant and several of his colleagues knew they were good at, and it's what the defendant and his colleagues were training other interrogators to be good at, and there's documentary evidence to suggest that the interrogations did become more professional as these inexperienced interrogators uh, gained experience. But, yeah, I mean, in, interrogation was, was what was going on, it was what was expected uh, from above, and you have in uh, the defendant an extremely conscientious and efficient uh, and dedicated uh, person who, if you like, uh, delivered uh, the product that had been uh, demanded by people whom, not only whom he, uh, above him, but people whom, I gather, uh, he had a great deal of respect for. And, and perhaps if we can pick up on that point, um, earlier, uh, in answer to Judge Cartwright's questions, you stated that, um, or from your book, that uh, from your research, um, the accused was very hardworking, very efficient, and that he and others uh, running S21 wanted to demonstrate, display to senior leaders how efficient or how modern um, that institution could be. And also that you felt that he and others wanted to inform the senior leaders, um, the upper brothers, as you put it in your book, um, of the information as to suspicions that they think that they, they might need. So, so my question is, how much do you think the intensity of the work, the, the numbers of people, the number of numbers of traitors, alleged traitors that were um, identified on these interrogations, was a, a demand of the senior leaders or the will? and the, the want le of S21 de S21 to display their efficiency de and their effectiveness de to plead, de son to, to please the senior leaders. De is la that direction. clear? Est que ma question est claire? Well, it's obviously, I mean, it sounds like a, a bit of a, a, a evasion of your excellent question, but it was obviously a two-way street. I mean, I think, uh, the, the defendant and his colleagues would have changed uh, their procedures if they were if word came down that these procedures were uh, not satisfactory. Uh, they would have I don't know in what direction they would they might have changed or how the upper people might have thought that what they were doing was unsatisfactory. But they kept producing materials to meet what they thought were the demands of those on, above them. And another point, I think I don't want to uh, go too much into this, I certainly didn't mention this in the book, but it's occurring to me as we talk, and back to uh, Paul Paul's dismissive remark about S21 and so on, that seems to me, and this is an idea that's just reaching me now, so it's kind of in Kuwait, that maybe S21 in the big picture on the part of the, of the leaders was not as important as it is to those of us seeking evidence about uh, the DK regime. In other words, I think if we had those cabinet meeting five copies only documents, I'd be very surprised if S21 
gets mentioned very would get mentioned very often. Instead, you'll have things like the Vietnamese uh, uh, foreign trade, uh, Chinese assistance. I'm just guessing uh, military problems along the border. Uh, these would be the issues that the top people will be talking about. Not uh, have you seen the latest reports? But, but again, as we've said all morning, uh, it seems to me, in the interests of uh, the defendant and his colleagues to produce as good a product as they could, to do as good a job as they could, until or unless uh, criticism came that this isn't the way to operate. And it seems like that, I guess, I mean, again, this is not, not something I have first knowledge of, that that criticism didn't arrive. Are you saying there that uh, S21 uh, was clearly on the, the senior leader's agenda, but it wasn't as high on the agenda in terms of other aspects of what was occurring in the country at the time. Yeah, I'd say generally. I mean, certainly uh, the top leaders were very interested in the confessions of top cadre like Coitouan and Bonvet uh, and uh, some of these people were coming through the uh, through the net in 76 and 77 and I think these confessions uh, I'm just guessing we don't have the paper trail but some of these confessions were read not only by Sun Sen who read a lot of them but also by people higher up but the day-to-day -day operations the milling through of these hundreds of of, I hate to call them insignificant because every life is significant, but I mean people who were not high on the chain of uh, DK, uh, ordinary combatants, workers in factories, uh, people's wives, uh, and so on, uh, they would not be interested in uh, this material. Uh, their interest would be piqued by the important people when they went through, who I think had probably been, uh, this is again a guess, in many cases had been fingered by the, by the top people. They said, it's time to get so-and-so. They got so-and-so. He was interrogated. That interrogation went up, and they read it with interest. Might even, we don't know, have come back with more questions to ask these people. So sometimes their interest is very was, was high, and sometimes it was nil, I would say. Um, would it be fair to say that for the 14,000 or so that you estimate uh, were killed at S21, that um, uh, Sun Sen or Nguyen Chia, who, was, who were the accused uh, immediate uh, superiors at various times, would not have uh, given instructions for the, for the killing of each and every one of those uh, individuals on a daily basis as, as information was coming through. It wouldn't have been of such major concern to the majority of the population, but only a small minority because of their importance in the regime. Would that be correct? Yes, I would say so. I mean, uh, I think uh, certainly it was known uh, at S21 from the probably from the moment it opened that until late 1978, when some of these prisoners were given uh, tasks in the prison and then later survived, it was known that everybody who came into that facility was going to be killed. So no matter what, uh, so therefore. Son Sen, Nguyen Chia certainly didn't sign off on individual deaths because part of the question, I think it was, uh, came from Judge Cartwright, the dehumanization process had already set in. These people were of no importance whatsoever uh, to those upper leaders. They had uh, departed from uh, the revolution. They departed from... Khmer society, they were of, uh, they're as good as dead, but by the minute they came in. Thank you. I'm, I'm just going to read back a, a statement that you made at page 154 of your book, and it relates to, perhaps relates to a couple of ideas, but 
Certainly, coming through your book, we have this idea that um, we have two groups of people at S21, a very large group of young, uneducated, uh, unmarried males, and then we have a smaller group of teachers, uh, educated, older, in their 30s, and in that smaller group, you put you accuse Doik, um, uh, you put Duk, Pon, accusé, you put Pong, um, Chan, Chan, Mam Nai Chang, as people that are perhaps less susceptible to, uh, to obedience, less, um, whereas you say that the, the younger group, uh, because of their age, are more likely and more supple, more malleable um, to follow orders, especially criminal orders. And, and that's a theme that runs through your book from your review of uh, sociologists and uh, psychologists. And then, page 154, you start to focus in on uh, senior leaders. And if I quote you, and then perhaps I'll ask you a few questions, then finish. You state, excuses like those offered by Yang Sari, Nguyen Chia, and Q San Pan are easy to understand, perhaps, but there are limits to the contextualizing of mass killing and terror. No context is spacious enough to contain Sun Sen, Doik, and the upper brothers. No explanations can let the murderers of 14,000 people off the hook. Someone or several people acting in the name of the party center decided to murder the prisoners held by Santembal, regardless of what they had done, so as to warn off potential opponents, protect the secrecy of the operation, and demonstrate the party's infallibility. Given the way DK was organized, the decision of this magnitude probably stemmed from Pol Pot, or at least met with his approval even though no written proof of his approval has survived. The upper brothers who followed S21's operations and Sun Sen and Doi, who were directly responsible for them, knew what they were doing and chose to do it. Conceivably, they might have lessened the suffering of prisoners released the hundreds of small children in prison with their parents or curtailed the executions had they wished to do so. There were moments during the DK era when such choices could have been made and revolutionary justice being tempered with mercy. Indeed, many survivors of the DK era single, single out kindly or permissive at S21, however, alternatives were never considered. Instead, Sun Sen and Doik and the people working under them inflicted enormous quantities of suffering on the prisoners, coolly, systematically, and without remorse. My, my questions are, is it your position from the material that you have reviewed, from the interviews that you have read, that the accused had a choice whether to carry out these acts. And secondly, is it your position, as you stated in the book, that the accused could have minimized the suffering, the killing at S21? in the ah, ways that in the ways that you've mentioned. Would that have been acceptable, do you think, within the atmosphere that was operating in DK at the time? No, certainly réponse. I stand by that paragraph Je maintiens ce paragraphe I can't believe that car these actions can go unnoticed just because uh, there's some sort of context that can explain them. Uh, on the other hand, the idea that there were 
people had a free choice les personnes to disposaient d'un libre what they choix, d'un libre arbitre, as the ruling context of uh, DK, le contexte which included the massive dehumanization of prisoners, the uh, no-exit uh, policy whereby the est-ce que all the par rapport aux people who came in innocent or guilty or, les gens arrivés, or whatever qu'ils étaient innocents, were uh, to be killed, coupables, ils étaient once exécutés. that context started to move forward, maybe they didn't have the choices. The choices were made fairly early, and I don't think they were made with great uh, difficulty. We do, again, we don't have the documents, but it seems from what I know about DK, it's most unlikely that if these decisions were made at the top, that dissent would have come from the middle ranks, uh, it began to roll on once the decisions had been made. Prise, I still feel that this is a great distance, of course. I, 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 in a way, I'm, I'm, I'm reluctant to say this because I've never been in any kind of a situation where I would have been in danger by refusing to do something. But I can't help but think that Mais je ne peux m'empêcher de penser que les personnes infligées ces souffrances extrêmes aux prisonniers savaient ce qu'ils faisaient. Ces personnes savaient ce qu'elles faisaient. Et elles ne semblaient pas en souffrir elles-mêmes de ce qui se passait. Et comme je l'ai dit également dans le livre, cela... It didn't seem to make their handwriting more unsteady. It didn't seem to lessen their enthusiasm for coming back to work the next day. It's in this whole context that I can't help but say that they have a paragraph that I wrote there, which I wrote there, which I wrote there, which I wrote there, which I wrote there, the last chapter took a several months to write, uh, but I won't stand by it. Although it's a complex issue and your question was well put. Two last questions, Mr. President. Over the, the hundreds of annotations that you reviewed from the accused, over all the reports and summaries that you've read uh, from him in the archive. Have you seen one document that shows the accused's objection, objection to carrying out these acts que or one document or annotation um, that would show de, de, that he was greatly displeased or hated le, le, carrying out those acts? Or one document or annotation that would show that he was greatly displeased or hated carrying out in writing, any uh, loud objection to the way the place was running. Uh, you do find some places where uh, he suggests uh, uh, that maybe less torture might be, might be used, that maybe more politics should be uh, doing politics, should be employed, uh, uh, the, uh, and in some of his uh, statements that I've read from the, uh, from the tribunal and elsewhere, he was uh, quite happy about some of the confessions that could be extracted without torture. That, I mean, ideally, if they could all be done without torture, he would have, he claims that he would have been uh, a happier administrator of the prison, of the prison. But I just don't, I can't see from the documentary evidence how that very deep uh, remorse uh, followed his, came from his knowledge of the day-to-day activities of the prison or the, what we would call excesses that shine through a lot of the confessions and certainly through the testimonials of uh, survivors. Thank you, Professor. And my last question relates to people escaping the terror. Of, uh, question porte sur la paix, les, les personnes échappant à la terreur du Cambodge démocratique. Dans votre livre, à de nombreux endroits, vous faites référence à un prisonnier qui s'est échappé à la page 16 de S21. À la page 16, vous parlez de quatre personnes qui se sont échappées à la page 31 de Pressard. Et à la page 47, ce sont les personnes qui n'ont pas été retrouvées. C'était un rapport du 27 novembre 1977 de Hughes Ray. Et vous faites référence 
référence à la page 1977, au fait qu'en 1977, à dans la zone nord, un soulèvement est survenu et des Cambodgiens se sont échappés et sont arrivés en Thaïlande, se sont enfuis en Thaïlande. Ensuite, dès qu'en 1977, des milliers de personnes se sont enfuies vers le Vietnam, c'est passé également pour un certain nombre de cadres euh, après 1977 ou même avant et certainement et à l'origine on, on a, euh, il aurait été préférable de une révolution sur le modèle vietnamien aurait été préférable à la dépravation qui régnait au sein du Cambodge démocratique à l'époque. Donc, le, Monsieur Chandler, ma question est la suivante. D'après vos lectures extrêmement complètes, pouvez-vous nous donner un nombre de, une idée du nombre de personnes qui sont enfuies euh, vers la Thaïlande, vers le Vietnam, vers l'étranger, et de quelle manière ces personnes ont pu fuir vers ces destinations Mes travaux de recherche ne m'ont pas conduit dans cette direction. Thailand, je sais que les réfugiés venant de Cambodge, venant de la chute du régime, n'étaient pas bienvenus par les Thaïs, n'étaient pas accueillis à bras ouverts par les Thaïs. Thaï. 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 DK Cadres, il y a several survivors' accounts of Sean, particularly the Pinya Thai account, were very assiduous in keeping people from leaving the country. Now, I think the border with Vietnam was more porous. People were able, I think, to move into Vietnam after 1977, I would say for the end of the regime, the exact numbers going into Vietnam would be in the low thousands, I would just guess, and in Thailand into the high hundreds. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Mr. President. Le co-procureur international, je vous remercie, Monsieur Chandler. The president. Le président, it is now a convenient time to take an adjournment for lunch break. Un bon moment de so faire une pause. Le moment est opportun de faire une pause pour le déjeuner. Nous we'll allons faire une pause et nous reprendrons les débats à 13h30. The court officer is now instructed to. Make sure that, that the witness can receive de his uh, refreshment and meal and that he is taken back to the courtroom by 1.30. The personnel securities are also instructed to Les take the accused back to the detention facility de and bring him in at 1.30. Le détention. greffier, all rise. Right. Le greffier, mesdames et messieurs, levez-vous.